Hello stock traders, I hope all of you are having a fantastic morning and are ready for an eventful week with lots of stuff going on and in today's video I am going to talk about the upcoming week. I will also give you one stock pick that I like for a big move that has had insider activity and that is a stock that I will be calling out in my private Discord. But before we get going, if you could do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. I am going to start off by reviewing the stocks that I picked out for the last week. And then we're going to get into the overall market and talk about some different things, but I wanted to cover these. So these are the different call outs that I made in my Patreon group. And if you want access to those, then pl please check out the link in the description down below. I have a link to that group where you can be part of that discord for the small amount of money that it costs. You will easily make it up with one great trade. And this last week traded KRTX for a 6.54% gain, NEE for a 1.31% gain, NDLS for a 1.92% gain, KDP for a 0.12% loss, FDX for a 0.79% loss, RFL for a 2.78% gain, BOIL for a 5.21% gain, PEB for a 0.66% gain. So that was six out of eight for a 75% win rate only a 2.19% gain per pick this last week. Uh, usually uh, we like to see that over 3%, but we didn't have that this last week. But overall, uh, looking forward to this next week and the different things coming up. And let's get into it. Let's start talking about all the different events and things that are coming up in the market in the coming week. Now, I am not very bullish on the overall market at the moment. I'm going to kind of talk about why and what I'm seeing. So I don't like how this is turning into a double top here. I also didn't like the jobs report. Right now with the tight labor market that we have, the Fed does not have to cool off their rate hikes. And so with rate hikes continuing, unfortunately, that is bad for the market. And I think we will be looking at at least a 0.75% uh, rate hike at the end of this month. Also, we have some dates coming up. First of all, we have CPI data coming out on 713. So that is Wednesday this week. And so that is something to watch for, something to think about, because if that number comes in bad, we could see a heavy uh, sell off in the market. Also, we have earnings that start on 714. And that is uh, Thursday. And, you know, I am expecting some poor guidance to be given by a lot of these companies. And with that, we could see an earnings crunch. So there's some different things that are happening here. We could see it. This looks kind of like a double top right here. So not liking that at all. Um, we have some different levels and some different gaps, but uh, overall, just kind of looking at this, um, it's kind of interesting to see where the market will go this next week. I am not that bullish going into this next week. I have some open positions on some uh, stocks that short the market or some ETFs that short the market. SPXSS, Triple Q, and TZA. And so expecting those to pay uh, big during this time. Uh, there will still be some insider uh, stocks to invest in as there are every single week. Um, we should see some good, uh, some good stocks to look at. And uh, so one of those uh, looking at this next week is ticker symbol ESTE. This is Earthstone Energy, and I like this because late on Friday, and I haven't even called this out to my group yet, but a director purchased 235,000 worth in open markets, paid an average price of $11.66. And I also like very much how the analysts have a very high price target on this of $24.89. So I like this for a move upwards, even if the market should see some selling off. So I, I think this is one uh, to take a look at, and you might take a look at and see if this, uh, if you agree with this. So we are in this downward channel, as you can see this kind of happening right here, but we are starting to break through here and with the insider activity i think that this is one that can push this upwards i like this gap up here as you can see this gap is open right here at 15 dollars a share so i like that in the short term and i think that this one might be a strong mover coming this next week uh so some other Different things to keep in mind as far as the market goes. You know, we have CPI data this week. 
Uh, we also have Vixpiration coming up on 720. We have OPEX at 715. And we have FOMC meetings at 727. And so lots of different stuff coming up that could be uh, rather rough for the market. So that is something that you will want to watch and pay attention to. Uh, some different gaps up. We have a nice gap up here right at 400. And so that is interesting. If we could get uh, a move upwards, I could see us getting to that before we fought the bears. The other thing to keep in mind is this 48 EMA right here. This is something that if we get rejected from uh, in the past when we've come up to that, you can see we've had some big waterfall of selling. And so that is something that could happen again. Uh, that happened to be after uh, FOMC meeting, but at the same time, um, that is something to watch for. Uh, some gaps down here is a really, uh, here's a gap down that starts right at 370 and goes all the way down to 366. And we also have another gap open at 354 in the S&P 500 SPY ETF. All of those are levels to the downside that you need to be aware of. Anyway, it's been a bullish little run, so nice little counter trend move. I hope all of you made quite a bit of money on this. You can make money as the market goes down. You have to be more creative, though. Uh, and it is looking like the indicators are pointing towards a market downturn going into this next week. But, you know, the market doesn't really care. It's going to do what it does. If we get some good news, this market will fly. That's all it needs. We just need some good news. We need a really good CPI data number. Um, if we were to get that and it was to show that inflation was slowing, then we could see markets turn around rather quickly and move upwards rather quickly. I wish you all the best this week. Please reach out to me in the comment section down below as I want to hear from you and hoping to see you in further videos and Raytoven out.